Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Eight: Connecting Ideas. Using auxiliary verbs after but. These are auxiliary verbs. They are used in different tenses like present simple, present perfect, present continuous, past continuous, and so on. Let's see how we use but after these auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are often used after but. To give the opposite idea of the main verb used before but, it has the same tense or modal as the main verb. Here is an example: We do not like fishing. This is in the present simple and negative. Our father likes fishing. This is also in the present simple and it is in the affirmative. In sentence A, the main verb is like, and in sentence B, there is also the main verb likes. According to the person, but according to the tense, the auxiliary verb is does. When we combine these two sentences after but, we use does instead of likes fishing. Here in this sentence, we say likes fishing. We are not going to use it after but. The answer: We do not like fishing. The first sentence is as it is, and we put a comma and use but. And after that, we use the second sentence: Our father does. We do not write the full sentence like this. We do not like fishing, but our father likes fishing. There are two other examples. Ali drinks coffee. This is affirmative in the present simple, and the other one, Nora does not drink coffee. This is negative in the present simple tense. It has the auxiliary verb does in the negative form, and the main verb is drink. Let's see how we join these two sentences. The two sentences are giving opposite meaning. In sentence A, the main verb is drinks, the auxiliary verb is does, and in sentence B, the main verb is drink, and according to the present simple, the auxiliary verb is does. To combine these two sentences, after but we use does in the negative form, does not, instead of drink coffee. We do not write this after we join by but. The answer. Ali drinks coffee, but Nora does not. We do not write the full sentence. Ali drinks coffee, but Nora does not drink coffee. Do not write drink coffee here. Just put a full stop after Nora does not. There are other two examples in the past form. He drove fast. I did not drive fast. The first one is affirmative in the past simple, and the second one is past simple negative. The sentences are giving opposite meaning. And both the sentences are having two different main verbs. The first one is drove, and the second one is drive. The first one is in the past tense, and the second one is in the present simple tense. For the second one, we have to use did as an auxiliary verb because it is in the past tense. To combine these two sentences, after but we use the auxiliary verbs did. And it is in the negative, so it should be did not instead of the main verb drive. Here is the answer. He drove fast, but I did not. We should not write this way. He drove fast, but I did not drive. Don't write drive.